Hi everyone. The frigate Le Protector was built in 1793 at the Rochefort shipyard in France. It belonged to the Venerable Frigate class, designed by engineer Josephus Curan Grangs. This class of frigates was one of the largest and most powerful in the French Navy at the time. The construction of Le Protecteur lasted two years and required the use of high-quality oak, elm, and pine wood. The ship's hull was copper-plated to protect it from marine parasites. Le Protecteur's armament included 24 24-pound cannons on the lower deck, 30 12-pound cannons on the upper deck, and 10 6-pound cannons on the forecastle and boot deck. La Protector was an impressive ship, equipped with 64 cannons and measuring approximately 54 meters long. Its crew consisted of about 400 people. La Protector was launched in 1793. During the Napoleonic Wars, La Protector was actively used by the French Navy in various maritime operations. It participated in battles and blockades, provided protection for trade routes, and conducted reconnaissance missions. The ship also engaged in several battles against the British and other enemies of France. One of the most famous battles in which La Protecteur participated was the Battle of Lisbon in 1807. During this battle, it faced British ships, including the HMS Windsor Castle. During the battle, La Protector managed to inflict serious damage on the British fleet but was eventually captured. After its capture by British forces, La Protector was integrated into the Royal Navy under the name HMS Implacable. This change of flag marked the beginning of a new era for this proud French ship. Under British colors, the Implacable continued to sail with bravery and determination, participating in several naval battles and campaigns. Under the command of the Royal Navy, the Implacable took part in various missions, including patrols, convoy escorts, and engagements against Britain's enemies. Its crew, now composed of British sailors, demonstrated the same dedication and skill as those who had served it before. Despite its French past, the Implacable was now a proud representative of British naval power. It continued to serve with distinction until the end of its career, sailing the seas with the same courage and pride that had characterized Le Protecteur. Its history illustrates the sometimes surprising fate of warships, which may change flags but never glory.
Thanks for watching.